Hi, I'm Peter. I'm a longtime Wikipedia editor. I'm at the Royal Ontario Museum for the first time. And we were editing together as a group uh, on Wiki about Wikipedia on Wikipedia uh, in the in the archive of the museum. And I got involved in a discussion about notability, a normal problem. Is, is a particular dinosaur skeleton notable? And I talked to an advocate of the position that Gordo the dinosaur is notable, and I agreed. And so I posted my opinion and took pictures of Gordo upstairs. Gordo is the largest dinosaur on display in all of Canada. And the question on Wikipedia was whether Gordo should have an article or be discussed only in the article about the other Barosauruses. But it has an interesting history where they brought it in. It's too big to display. So for 40 years, it was kept in boxes. And uh, we found good sources. And I came out for the notability of Gordo the dinosaur. Can you say something about the counter argument or say something about uh, Present the positions of both sides as best as you can. Well, the paleontologists weighing in on the discussion think that only the very most notable dinosaur skeletons should have their own article. And I'm not sure what they're concerned about. Maybe that too many people will advocate for each, each exhibit and museum to be, to be made its own article. In this case, I thought, because there are so many good sources, this particular one does meet the criterion. But there's a dividing line somewhere, and people don't agree on exactly where it is. And the expert paleontologists are on the other side of the debate for me, so that's really interesting. We have to think about what we're trying to do on this side. Can you d just discuss this here? I'm going to put an idea, and I want you to repeat it back, but just talk it through. Uh, every exhibit and every museum in the world should have its own Wikipedia article. I thought, no. Can, no. Can, can you repeat that back to me? Like, Every, Wikipedians discuss whether every exhibit should have, like, Okay, thing. Wikipedians can discuss whether every museum exhibit everywhere should have its own article. So I guess if each such exhibit did have its own article, we could really flesh it out, make it clear, and educate in a broad way. But then there would be too many little articles to manage their quality. Uh, People with extreme points of view would have nobody reviewing their work, and the overall encyclopedia would be less reliable. Also, uh, doing things that way, there wouldn't be the synthesis of a survey article that covers a whole class of, of topics or exhibits if it were fractured that much. Could you tell us more about Gordo? Like, who, who is this dinosaur? What is he about? And make, make the case for Gordo to have his own article. Gordo seems to be from the Jurassic period, as, and is an extraordinarily long dinosaur with a, a skeleton much too long for a normal room or even a normal museum exhibit. So it's hard to get a full, complete photograph of Gordo's skeleton. Uh, Gordo's huge and has but has a very small head. Gordo probably wasn't that smart. Um, and was uncovered in Pennsylvania, I think, uh, before 1960. And, the, and they had the full skeleton there, and then it was brought to this museum by a curator, Gordon Edmonds who meant to put on display but never could, died with this wish unfilled, unfulfilled. And they have named this dinosaur for him, Gordo. And then much later, a curator named Dave Edmonds, uh, Dave Evans, found a way to do it. So it is on display now. That's the history of Gordo as a skeleton in human possession. Um, Can you say what sources exist talking about Gordo? The, we, we were able in the article to cite a number of sources, uh, not about Gordo as a creature, but this, the skeleton, the curatorial history. Yes, Atlas Obscura, there's a full article about Gordo in the Globe and Mail, a major newspaper, a clear, interesting article. 
and there were quite a number of other sources. But that was disputed in the discussion about whether to keep the article. Was it maybe the article wasn't well enough written, or maybe uh, there weren't enough sources. But by the normal criteria, which is three solid sources, there were, I don't know, seven. So it seemed good, D diverse sources. And museums are very reliable sources themselves. You can cite a museum's own work, own description of its collection, treating that as reliable. So the sources were strong. The scientists seemed to want even more, though. So that would, that would be an interesting discussion. What can you say about these deletion discussions, these deletion debates? Who, who comes to them, and why do they come to them? Well, often there's a... Like when there's a deletion discussion, introduce it. A discussion at the, in the articles for deletion context, uh, it'll, it'll be proposed that an article is deleted, and I don't always know the agenda of the people who want to delete it. I'm more of an inclusionist. But they do want to keep the encyclopedia clean of small, obscure topics with extreme advocates pushing them. They want to avoid somebody pushing their own business, their own band, by creating an article on Wikipedia. And in this case, they might want to avoid trivial articles about one museum exhibit. Uh, and on the other side, people who want to save it think people will want to search for this exact topic and find a description of it. And it can be referred to somewhere else. It can be in, referred to in many articles. I don't fully understand uh, every point of view that appears in, uh, in the debates on deletion. What should somebody do if they want to get more involved in dinosaur articles on Wikipedia? They can look at this article, Gordo, say, say, Dinosaur. Say that, if people want to get more involved with dinosaurs. If people want to get more involved in, in discussions of dinosaurs on Wikipedia, they can go to an article on Gordo, Dinosaur, and just look at what is in the article, what kind of sources are cited. They can look on the talk page to see where it was discussed, that uh, perhaps it should be folded into Barosaurus. Uh, for, a, for an extensive article on a single dinosaur, they can look at Dippy, which is a huge article. Um, and they can think about what should be the criteria for the article, but then they'll be linked quickly to the wiki project of paleontology, which has real experts but also real amateurs discussing what should be in this encyclopedia. I think that's very good, Peter. Is there anything else you want to say about this, this dinosaur? I'm, I'm, well, I'm pleased to be at the museum. I was pleased to see this dinosaur and many other dinosaurs upstairs. And uh, this is the largest dinosaur on display in Canada. <laughs>